welcome to this Hershey's Trail podcast, exploring Kingston upon Thames. In this episode, we explore the iconic piece of public art that is the out-of-order telephone boxes on Old London Road. To get to the phone boxes, walk north up Hardman Road until you reach a junction. Opposite you is Cromwell Road bus station, the main bus station in Kingston. At the junction, turn left onto Cromwell Road. Keep walking past the leisure complex and the rotunda, which houses a 10-pin bowling alley, restaurants, as well as an Odeon cinema. You should now be approaching the entrance of the building. Keep walking around the corner onto Clarence Street. Clarence Street is one of the main streets in Kingston, leading you to the heart of the town centre on Eden Street. Up ahead of you, you should see a round building, Keep walking until the entrance of Wilco. Next to the entrance, you will see the out-of-order telephone boxes. Cast your mind back to a time before mobile phones. 40 years ago, the 1980s. To make a call, you would go into a phone booth and dial the number you wanted to call. And you would have to put money into the machine. The call would have had a time limit on it. Almost unimaginable by today's standards. Unfortunately, these telephone boxes are not in use. But these are the iconic boxes people used to make calls before mobile phones. They were first revealed in December 1989 by then councillor Reverend Michael Mannell and were designed by local sculpture artist David Mack. The artwork is owned by the Royal Borough of Kingston, and the boxes themselves were obtained by the artist from British Telecom. The sculpture is made up of 12 phone boxes, with the first one standing upright, but the other 11 leaning against the first. They are made out of reinforced steel and paint, and are secured to the ground using a concrete base. The display is approximately... 2.5 metres tall, 9 metres long, and 1.5 metres deep. The next time you use your phone to make a phone call, or send a message, you may want to consider how far technology has changed in the last 40 years.